Hey guys, Carl here, and today we're gonna to be talking about 10 essential items that always end up in my bag. 10 items, I'll talk about each one individually. The first one I'm gonna talk about is gaff tape. I use gaff tape all the time. This one in my bag, got a few things hanging on it. I'm gonna use this to tape up a piece of a foam board as a bounce, or if I wanna tape up a, a cable on the ground to make sure nobody trips over it. Or I can use different colors. I have black, yellow, red, uh, pink, just because uh, if I want to have different things mean different things in my head, I know what those are. So I can use this in a plethora of different ways. It doesn't leave any residue behind, so it just works really well. I can't really say too much more about tape. It works, I highly recommend it. Gaff tape, number one. Number two, I use the rocket blower. I use this guy all the time uh, when I'm changing out lenses or if I just wanna clean off a monitor real fast or a, a glass on like a, just quick, easy. I love this tool, I use it a lot, highly recommend it. They're super inexpensive. You can get one of these for like four bucks, five bucks or a package with it on there. You don't need anything crazy and don't ever use compressed air. Compressed air has too much force behind it. It can push things further, deeper into a camera. Like if you're blowing off the sensor or something like that, always put whatever you're blowing Always put whatever you're going to be blowing air into upside down so when you blow the air, it pushes whatever it is like up and out. So it hits something and it falls out instead of, and then like give it a second, like hit once, twice, three times, let some things fall, and then hit it again. I, I like, that's the way I use this. So number two, highly recommend it, rocket blower. All right, number three on the list. I don't know, there's so many items. We'll go lame and boring first off. I use these cloths a lot. They're just cleaning cloths. I don't use them on the lenses per se. I lose them on my, I use them on my monitors, my phone, um, back of the camera, top of the camera, depending on what camera you're using. I, I use them a lot. I think they're great. They're something for sure to have in your bag because you never know when you're gonna wanna clean something off. I like to keep one uh, folded up and put away. So I'll clean it off, put it back in the same bag it came in. Um, pretty good at folding these up, putting them back in the same bag. So as you can see, number three, Lens cloth, lens cleaner, boring, major boring, but important to have, highly recommend it. Number four, some sort of something to write in. I use these field notes. They're kind of like the hipster cool way to document your stuff. I have uh, different settings in there for different shoots I've been on, like checklists, uh, kind of bright, sorry. Checklists for you know different shoots. Uh, frame rates, I have a workout in here. Shouldn't probably have a workout in this, my camera one. I use this guy all the time. It's like white balance, different white balance, like if it's cloudy out, tungsten, daylight. Those should be stuck in your head, but I like to write them down just to keep them just in case I lose it. I keep shutter speeds in here, like if I'm shooting 120 frames per second, I want my shutter to be at 250th of a second. So things like that, just things I write down, um, different settings for like my gimbal. Like if I want my gimbal to be a certain way, I can go in and tune it. I write that down in here. Post-production stuff, color correction stuff. Yeah, field notes. Next up, this one's a little more niche, uh, the Aperture MC. I use this guy a lot on different projects. You can adjust the hue of it. So if I want like a pink or purple, blue, uh, green, red, yellow, uh, you have all the colors in here. And then you can control it from your phone also, which is pretty cool. I like to use it in the backgrounds of things or like underneath like a, you know, like a stove or something like that to color down. I've used this in a few videos I've made on YouTube as the sole light besides like ambient light. Um, that little like alien one, I'll play a little clip of that one right here. That's all from this light. This MC is, it's super powerful. If you have like two or three of these things, they're awesome. Couldn't recommend this one enough. Number six, I think monitoring your audio is super important. And if you're you know, a single shooter, run and gunner type person, uh, you need to have good audio source. You could use you know, some earbuds or something like that. I use these guys, these are, these are old 
Um, Sony, I think they're version one or two. WH100X Mark II. These things are awesome. They have like a Mark V out now or Mark VI, I forget. They're noise canceling. They go on every single shoot that I'm on. I you know, can't hear the world now. I, I can't hear you. No, I just, I love them. They have a 3.5 millimeter jack in the bottom, or in the, in here. I've actually kept this cable this entire time. It's awesome. Uh, plug those guys in, into the camera or the monitor that I'm using, and Bob's your uncle. You're using them right off the top. Uh, they have noise canceling again, like I said, so you can really like cut out the world noise and just listen to whatever's coming out of these. Great tool to have on set, and I use them all the time. So, uh, monitor your audio. Next up, uh, I have two. They're kind of redundant a little bit, uh, but I use this one all the time. It's a white balance card, so I've got a white side and a gray side. I can use exposure, and then I can also white balance off of this guy. So uh, this this goes everywhere with me. As you can see, it's got you know, lots of dirt and stuff on it, but this goes everywhere with me. I use it a lot, and um, it just it works very well. So and I can use it as like a bounce. See, like right now, I'm getting a good little bounce off of it. We'll leave it like that for a couple minutes while I do the other two. Like I said, redundancy wise, number seven, eight, I forget, eight, nine, 10, yeah, eight is this uh, color checker. This is another one I use on every shoot for the most part. If I'm doing a sit down interview or if I want to grab a, uh, a good color reading, I'll throw this guy up. DaVinci Resolve has a really cool feature where you can just you know put this color checker on there and it will generate a LUT for whatever scene it is that's accurate to this color checker. So lighting, uh, exposure, um, uh, your, your white balance, um, all that stuff. It works really well. At some point I'll do a video on it because it's important. It's an important tool to have and an important thing to know that you can do that within DaVinci. We also have another gray card here. So if I wanna shoot uh, white balance or get exposure correctly off of that, I get exposure off of these three, and then if I want to check focus, I've got a focus meter here, or a calibration, or like a focus um, thing right here also. I forget exactly what it's, what it's called, but you can use it to, to get correct focus really fast on it, so. Color checker. Number nine, number nine, number nine, number nine. Listen to the Beatles, number nine, trippy. Number nine is my coveted Skeletool from Leatherman. This guy, I've had this for around eight to 10 years, I believe. Um, I've used it almost every day. It goes in my pocket unless I forget it at home. It's my part of my everyday carry, which I'll do a video of that at some point down the road. But it's got this carbon fiber inlay. I really like that about it. It comes with two bits, a number one and number two Phillips bit. And then it also comes with, in this little handy dandy like hidden section right here. Also comes with a quarter and seven thirty seconds flathead. I don't know, I just call them flathead. One's more narrow than the other one is. So I've got a wide and a narrow uh, flathead. It, yeah, I don't know, I use it all the time. It's great, so awesome to have on set. Uh, it also has a knife built into it. It's like the Swiss Army knife, obviously. It's kind of the same type of thing knife built into it. I opted for the straight blade instead of the serrated blade. I just like this the straight blade a little bit better. Like if I want to cut something, serrated's cool, but I like the straight blade. And then a carabiner on there and a bottle opener all in one. So if I want to put this on my you know belt loop, I can do that if I'm going to be using it a lot. And then I can also open up those bottles when I'm popping beer after we're done or during, depending. Love this tool, uh, it comes with, it didn't come with these, my brother got these for me, is a set of bits. So all my Allen keys, hex keys, um, flatheads, other flatheads, uh, and then we've got some uh, other Phillips heads also. I, again, I just, I use this thing constantly. It, I would say it's one downside is, like if you're using the bigger Phillips, sorry, the bigger uh, hex, um, it's not gonna be great. You can definitely strip something out. I would say be careful because 
they're flat. So like one side of them is gonna be flat and it's not always the best fitment inside of them. But with that said, uh, great tool, awesome to have on set, use it all the time. Last one, last but not least, is the handy dandy quarter. This guy goes ever, everywhere with me. This one is from 1983. I love quarters that have the original uh, eagle on the back. I think that's so cool because nowadays you get all these, you know, different, I won't say lame. I love our currency. I think it looks pretty cool. It's pretty badass. I mean, other currency is cool too, but uh, this, this quarter, it goes with me everywhere, not just because it's a, a cool quarter and lucky, but because I use it as a screwdriver. I use this guy, if I forget this at home, or if I don't necessarily need to use this and I can just be really quick about something, if I'm trying to get uh, like a, a plate off of a, off the bottom of a camera or if I need to use something real fast, this guy has been through the ringer. It's got tons of nicks out of it. It's, uh, it's seen better days, but it's pretty cool and I love it and I love using it. I take it ever, everywhere with me. I've got about six of these that are all in the 1980s range. I love the quarter. So with that said, that's my kit. That's everything that goes with me in my bag when I go off to shoot something for a customer or even here at home. Uh, it's sitting next to me in case I need a piece of it. So hopefully you got something out of this. I will leave the descriptions to all these items down below uh, if you'd like to pick any of these up. No affiliate links or anything like that. Bonus one, however, is this guy right here on my watch. I use this a ton is the light. I have a little light on it. It's just the nerdiest watch I've ever had, but you can make fun of it. It's the coolest watch I've also ever had because I have a light on this thing, a flashlight. So when I'm on set and it's dark and like I'm in my little studio right now, it's dark in here. And I walk over to the camera to turn it off or do something. I can see what I'm doing. If I need to like plug an HDMI cable in or I just, I literally just used it a second ago. And I can like, you know, beam the light down on it, I can adjust how bright it is. I can even turn it to green, pretty cool. Uh, I use it a lot, that's a bonus one. It's not really, you know, don't make fun of my watch. I'll leave a description of it down below also. It's a Garmin Tactics. It's, it's my favorite, one of my favorite possessions in life. Besides my ring and my wife, and my dog. I have to say that, contractually obligated to say that. So that's what it is. Um, anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you got something from this. If you like any of these items, Buy them from the links down below. I'm not affiliated with any of them, but I'll give you the links and you can buy them down there. We'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.